Tyson's RX in 2019, a brand new initiative and what an exciting season of rallycross action uh, we have had. And uh, here to talk us through it and look forward to the future, we've got CEO of the series, Max Pucha, and series ambassador, Ari Vassanen. Uh, welcome to you both. Uh, first of all, Max, let's talk yeah. about 2019. Uh, tell us about the initiative, the drive behind setting up Tyson's RX. Where did that come from for you and why? Well, one of the main reasons uh, for me to do something like Titan Rex was that I see a fairly big space between what's happening in the World Championship and the National Championships. And uh, a lot of drivers that are interested to do uh, a higher level, higher quality of rallycross, but it's not really that affordable and it's not really that easy for them to organize it, to find the teams, to find the cars. So to fill that space was really the key idea. And at the same time, maybe obviously implement some of the things that I thought Rallycross could really benefit from. Very interesting to find out a bit more about that. Ari, uh, just going to you, you're the series ambassador for Titans RX. So why did you want to get involved with this series? What was the, uh, the driving force for you? For very obvious reasons, uh, when Max proposed this, uh, series to me, I thought, well, that's long overdue to have something uh, in Europe what uh, has been done in the uh, USA historically always, that is to say, have a good value for money for competitors, have a, have a very even race where the, where the money doesn't determine how good your car is. And well, because after all, we are here for a spectacle. And, and when you have even cars, plenty of drivers, well, we end up having um, uh, you know good competition and a low cost because the the cost is always the the forbidding factor in in motorsport. So, for these reasons, I just want to help people who want to create something new like Max is doing. And uh, Max as well, the the 2019 season for uh, for Titans RX, it's been explosive. I think is probably the best way of putting it. You know, uh, brand new cars, specifically design cars for uh, for this series. Drivers from Formula One, from touring cars, from the World Endurance Championship, from rallying. How do you review 2019 as a whole? How do you think the inaugural season has gone? Well, I'm uh, absolutely uh, astounded how little problems we actually had, that virtually everything that we planned worked out the way we planned it, and a whole number of things actually worked a lot better. Uh, we didn't expect to have, like in some locations where the weather was much better than here, to have uh, up to 7,000 spectators on one weekend in the first year. So that was, I think, one of the most important things that we had uh, uh, many more spectators on, on Eurosport than I thought we would have. And we're somewhere in the area, and I don't know this weekend's number, obviously, the, the range of five million viewers on Eurosport, which is absolutely incredible. So we achieved that goal. We have extremely happy drivers who love the car. They love the racing. They, they really enjoy to be in this competition with the other drivers. And finally, you know that the car really worked the way we intended it to work and kind of that was the most risky part in the beginning. And Ari, what are your thoughts on 2019 with uh, Titans RX? Series ambassador, you did a bit of commentary as, uh, as well. That was pretty uh, exciting for you. Uh, what are your thoughts having seen it from, uh, from trackside? Yeah. Well, we have to remember that uh, Max created this from scratch. This thing did not exist. This concept did not ex exist. So um, we have had an excellent start, obviously. We cannot have uh, immediately, you know, 20,000 uh, spectators in a, in, a, in a similar event because this is something new to uh, to everybody. But I'm sure next year, I mean, uh, the, the series will start getting what what it what it deserves. And of course, uh, FIA now. I saw Sean Todd yesterday in Copenhagen, and now they're beginning to pay attention to realize well, that's what we need in a in a motorsport. So um, so I mean, once again, I have to say that the undertaking of uh, of of, uh, of Max is something is, it was risky, very courageous. It takes a lot of lot of commitment, and 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 we will go from strength to strength for, uh, from now on. Yeah. And uh, Max, talking about 2020 as well. Let's talk about the FIA uh, first of all. We're an international series with uh, with Titans RX. Uh, what, what's their involvement likely to be for the future? Do you think? Well, it was originally a little bit difficult to make them understand what we were trying to do. And there was kind of the fear that we would head for a direct competition with the World Championship, which I didn't see then, and I don't see it now, especially now they made it very clear that their only interest is in fully electric racing, which we don't have as of 
main interest. I'm not saying we would never do it, but it's highly unlikely that we need to go there at this point in time. So I don't see that competition and the targeting another audience, the targeting different racetracks. So I think that fear is kind of coming down and we have actually, I have to say, a very good uh, uh, relationship with FA. Ari has been very important, you know, to bring our message also to the people that he obviously worked with a lot. And uh, we now received the proposal from FA for 2020 that will make it a lot easier to accept tracks uh, and to drive on different tracks. And it will also help us to bring our cost down a little, which is obviously one of the main things that we're trying to do. And Ari, your points of view on that uh, from uh, from the other side as well, as Max said, you've been involved uh, with the FIA. Just explain a little bit about uh, how that's gone uh, this year and also moving forward for 2020. So when you start like this, it's, a, it's an enormous puzzle when you have to uh, put together a new, new series and, and to, get, uh, to get the momentum uh, for it uh, going. And uh, so you have to find, uh, we have to find tracks, you have to explain then what this is all about because everybody has got their calendars ready already. So it is, it is in a way, uh, it's a big job to get, uh, to s squeeze this into existing, uh, uh, existing calendars. And well, we have, managed to, we have managed to do it. And FIA accepted us with a very short notice because of course without them, this has to be sanctioned by the FIA. And, and without their green light, we, couldn't do, we couldn't, do, uh, couldn't do anything. But yet it's also understandable that in a way, they saw in the beginning us as a kind of a competitor for the existing series. And now they have said, no, we are not a competitor. We add something what has been missing. And once they have realized that with the, with the, with the FIA, I mean, they come in a real way on, 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 on board and, and this series will come into fruition. Yeah. And as we move forward for 2020, Max, we've got the Real E initiative that was uh, announced about six weeks or so ago now. Yes. Just explain a bit more behind that. Well, you know, there is kind of this uh, notion with some people that if it's not electric, it cannot be, you know, ecologically minded. And uh, it was very important for us to make that clear that we have always been that ecologically minded, everything that we did. Um, and uh, to make it uh, not only something that we do because we think it's right, but to make it very clear what we do and how we do it and what the benefits are, the environmental and ecological ones, uh, that is important because also our sponsors expect us, you know, to deliver uh, an ecology-minded uh, uh, product. Mm -hmm. So from this perspective, the really initiative wasn't really that new because we had already intended to uh, go to a, a synthetic fuel, but it couldn't be done in the short time. We had already intended to put two races a weekend because it halves the resource use for per race. And we had already a product in place with the tires that was a lot more ecological than uh, what other racing tires had. But nobody knew it because we didn't talk about it. So it was really just putting that together in a plan, in an initiative, focus on it, pull it off, find the uh, manufacturers that would help us to do it, test the engines, for example. And uh, all that has been done. So we, six weeks ago, we were able to announce it. And it's the key initiative for 2020 to also help drivers to find sponsors and to make our sponsors more satisfied with the product and the message we deliver. And Ari, what does uh, ecological mean to you in terms of eco-racing? Well, that's a, it's a political slogan. So uh, we have to be very, uh, let's say, scientifically truthful what, uh, what we, are, we are doing. And, and uh, it would be wrong to say that only electric ecological and nothing else is not. And um, because uh, in, a, in, a practical, in a practical terms, we have to see what value we give uh, for money. And by, by the way, regarding combustion engines, formula, current Formula One combustion engine is the most efficient engine that exists. exists. And that's what matters, efficiency of what we, we, are, we are doing. So combustion engine is not going to uh, go away. I mean, the, the best years of combustion engines are still in front of us because the way the science is leapfrogging literally and and therefore we must be very realistic on this on this issue what we have to do that we offer just a combustion engine which is just a, the most efficient and using the you know bio biofuel and that's the way to show 
And Max, just some final thoughts from you uh, for 2020 as well. In terms of the on-track action, where are we likely to be? What are we likely to see? What are your thoughts going into what's set to be the second year and a very exciting year for Titans? Well, we certainly um, have a, a lot of things that we want to improve. We also have a lot of things that worked extremely well, like I said, the regulation and not using Chocolap and, and, and the different uh, uh, slightly more relaxed rules for driving so where we don't penalize kind of any car contact. And, and that also leads into other things that we need to, and want to do uh, to uh, in, increase the number of drivers, to increase the number of cars. We're making our cars, again, not only more ecological, but also more uh, um, durable, I think, is the best word, because we, are, we, we want every car to finish every race. Mm. And, and, you know, if you have drivers coming in that you support and you're kind of responsible for them to finish the race, obviously we want to, as the customer, give them a car that will finish every race in terms of, uh, of strength and durability and performance. And, and all that, uh, uh, there are a number of improvements on the, on the car that we do um, and uh, there is one more very important element, uh, which is that we are trying to add, if there's interest by the drivers, we're trying to add a regional concept to the series. So we will basically group uh, always three events into a, a regional or local cup. Uh, it might also even be a national cup. Um, that relates to also what we've discussed with FIA, how we could organize that, and we got the proposal for that and then basically have, again, the grand finale at the end of multiple of these cups, kind of as the European-level uh, championship uh, series uh, event. And, and that also brings, again, uh, international racing on a, to people at the local cost, at the cost of local racing. So that's kind of the most important add-on to the series. We have pretty good interest for that. And uh, we are just working at the moment. Before we can actually sign drivers, we need to tell them where they're going to race. <laughs> so the, the most important thing right now is to get the calendar worked out and signed off. Well, it all sounds like it's going to be uh, hugely exciting for 2020. Max, uh, Ari, thank you both very much for uh, joining us. It's uh, going to be a very exciting year for Titans RX. Thank you for joining us at uh, home as well. And uh, look forward to more great racing action for Titans RX Europe in 2020.